trails with the promise of sex. Once they got there, Edward ambushed and attacked Jason first with a hatchet, followed by the coach jumping in and taking turns at attacking him with a hammer and a rock. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Behind the Murders. I'm Brielle. I'm Aaliyah. And today we're talking about the Jason Sweeney case. So just a little bit of the background of the case. Jason Sweeney was born on July 29, 1989 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Jason was loving, raised in the blue-collar neighborhood of Fishtown, and he lived with his mother, Don, and his father, Paul, and his younger brother and sister. Um, while Don worked as a bank teller, and Paul ran a small construction company. Jason was the kind of kid who intervened if he saw another kid getting bullied. His mother described him as a sweet, kind, and gentle soul. Although he eventually dropped out of school in the 10th grade, the easygoing Jason soon began working at his father's business, which he enjoyed. Um, Jason aspired to join the Navy when he turned 17 and become a Navy SEAL and was accepted to his Dream School Valley Forge Military School uh, before the incident. However, he had yet to afford the tuition um, at the time of the incident. Jason was also on a friendly terms with a pair of brothers, 16-year-old Nicholas Coa and 17-year-old Dominic, until they decided to drop him as a friend sometime before the incident. Then a few weeks before the crime, um, Jason met a girl that he liked, 15-year-old Justina Morley. May 30, 2003, Jason left his parents' house to meet with Morley for their date at the trails, a wooded area near the Delaware River. When Jason failed to come home later that evening, the fear of not knowing where he was was weighed heavily on Don and Paul um, to the point that they reported him as missing. Not long after, a severely beaten body located and later positively identified as Jason. Finding out what happened and who was responsible didn't take long for the police since they had one person of interest in mind from the start. Soon after the murder, whispers through the grapevine finally made their way to the police that Morley, Edward, and the Coa brothers all had bragged about conspiring to kill Jason for his paycheck days before the crime. So these are all his friends and his new girlfriend. So the fact that they have the, like, audacity yeah. to want to like, take him for, kill him friend. for his money. <laughs> I think it was like a $500 paycheck. And how they're going to get a, the paycheck. Exactly. If it has his name on it. Morley lured Jason into the trails with the promise of sex. Once they got there... Edward ambushed and attacked Jason first with a hatchet, followed by the coach jumping in and taking turns at attacking him with a hammer and a rock. All while Morley watched. So she watched all of these three guys literally attack him. When they're supposedly in a relationship. Once it was over, the four stole a $500 paycheck from Jason, had a group hug, and split their ill-gotten prizes equally among themselves. They spent it all on things like jewelry, partying, and drugs, such as heroin, marijuana, and Xanax. So the defense for the other three argued that Morley was uh, the true instigator of the incident and the ringleader. In her letters to Dominic, Morley emphasized her manipulative nature, relished her darker character, and expressed a lack of remorse for what happened. In contrast to what she wrote, Morley testified to feeling guilt and only said those things in the letter so she would be accepted by the other three. Despite acknowledging that the letter showed that more cold-blooded nature, they still used her letters to prove the collection, to prove the collective of the group. At one point, a friend of Dominic's, 18-year-old Joshua Stab, arrested. In the days leading up to the murder, the four had bragged about using Morley to lure Jason to his demence. Um, Stab also testifying that Basing was aware that Jason would have his paycheck on him the day of the crime, while all four turned out to be drug addicts and they were said to be sober when the incident took place. Three were 
ultimately convicted and handed mandatory life without parole. The resulting verdict could then carry life without the possibility of parole if the factors warranted decision in the court's judgment. All of them were messed up for killing him. He wanted his money and... Like, to buy jewelry, drugs, and stuff. Well, thank you for watching. Um, this was the murder of Jason Sweeney. Tell us what you think in the comments, and make sure you go... Like the video. Like the video. Follow our Instagram and TikTok, where we've posted a whole bunch of new holiday videos. Um, and, yeah. Catch you next time. Bye.